This video will be used to explain how to operate your John Deere planter using the set point or non-active downforce control. With this system, the operator will manually have to adjust their downforce to maintain a constant row unit margin. Maintaining a constant row unit margin will help ensure optimal planting performance as conditions change. First, plant a small strip using the typical downforce setting that you have run in the past or 250 pounds as a starting point. The strip should be long enough to allow the planter to achieve this amount of downforce. Before stopping, note the average high and low margin values found on the planter downforce run page in the detailed section. Complete an in-ground check as detailed in the Understanding Margin video. Once this in-ground check is completed, it's time to make adjustments. If the in-ground check shows that too little downforce margin is being carried by the gauge wheels, row unit downforce needs to be increased in the downforce control panel. We recommend increasing by at least 20 to 50 pound increments. If the in-ground check shows signs of compaction or too much margin, then downforce can be decreased. Operating range for the row unit downforce is 15 to 400 pounds. Repeat the process until the in-ground check shows the correct row unit margin. Once this has been determined, enter the average margin value you noted before stopping the planter as your target margin value. Press and hold one of the Seedstar XP navigation buttons to enter the alarms and limits page. This will allow you to set the target margin value as well as customize your alarms. The upper and lower alarms are set based on a percentage of the target value. If you would prefer a different value, simply enter it into the input box. The planter will store this new value and change future alarms based on the new percentage. Once this is set as your target margin, it sets the value as the center line of the planter at a glance bar chart. Resume planting. During operation, the downforce button will highlight orange if a row unit is approaching an alarm and highlight red if an alarm has been exceeded. This means there is more or less than desired margin on a particular row indicated by the row unit bars or across the planter shown by the average. If the margin average or row unit bars are consistently below the target line, increase the PDF until the alarm disappears. If the average margin is consistently higher than the target, decrease the PDF. There may be situations where too much margin is unavoidable or too much margin is not a concern. This can especially be true for planters with three bushel hoppers and light, easy to penetrate soils. In this case, if the excess margin is not causing compaction or concern, the upper margin alarm can be increased to avoid nuisance alarms. If this extra margin is not desired, it can be removed with mechanical upforce springs. A few things to note. We have found that many producers were running more downforce than necessary in the past, but be careful to not allow margin values to decrease to the point where consistent depth might be sacrificed. Also, be sure to zero all PDF and downforce sensors before each season to ensure accuracy.